Hello people and today welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a ragdoll on there, which is something like this. And plus it also makes you a corpse. So now I'm going to show you how to make that and yeah, enjoy. So first step what we're going to do is we're going to need to make ragdolls. Now I just have this uh, model called Tomatoes Ragdoll. What it does is it will... Uh, make a ragdoll for your own so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the ragdoll client in the starter player script and i'm also gonna put physics and ragdoll in the dereplicated storage now i'm just gonna delete that just for later but now i'm just gonna add a uh, folder which i'm just gonna call events and yeah i'm gonna put the physics right here and yeah now basically what you need to do is you're going to need to have some modifications while using this module now as you may notice there is a settings for this uh, tutorial we're just going to follow what i'm doing we're going to not recover we're going to uh, just spawn enabled and i'm going to set the despawn sign to math.huge which means infinite now this is the event location so it says replicate storage at physics which is wrong which means i'm going to set events dot physics which means uh game dot game dot replicate storage dot events dot physics which is the correct location and go to your ragdoll client and make sure it it's a uh, game dot replicate storage dot events make sure it's the same location and that's probably it now to make a ragdoll on death we're going to insert a script so we say game dot players dot player added colon connected function now once we've done that let's go ahead and get the character added so player dot character added on connect function now we're going to do is we're going to detect the the player who actually died so we say char dot humanoid dot died on connect to function so once we died once we're going to do is we're going to set the char the archer variable equals trip and then we're going to do is we're going to add a spawn function just in case then we're going to say require and then we're going to say game dot replicate storage dot ragdoll and then once we've done that we're going to do a colon activate and then we're going to do the char now once we've done that remember i said uh you can also make your own corpse i'm going to show you how to do that let's go ahead and put wait uh we're going to say game dot players dot respawn time and then once we've done that we're going to clone their character to make a corpse and we're going to say local clone char equals char colon clone and then we're going to say if workspace colon find first child and then we say clone char dot name then what we're going to do is we're going to say workspace colon find first child because we're still using it say clone char dot name and then we're going to destroy it so if there is a existing player that means we're going to delete it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say for inv in pairs. And then we say clone char uh, colon get descendants do. Now we're going to loop everything. And then we're going to say if v is a base part. Then we're going to say v, v dot anchor equals true. Now, once we've done that, let's go ahead and add some stuff. So, we're going to say clone char dot humanoid dot display distance type equals enum dot humanoid display distance type dot none. Now, I'm going to say clone dot humanoid dot health display type. And then I'm going to say enum dot health display type dot always off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say clone char dot name equals player dot name dot dot and then I'm going to add like this and then I'm going to say ragdoll. Now this is just for like uh, organizing. Make sure it's a different name otherwise uh, this will break the code. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say clone char dot parent equals workspace. Now you have officially made your own code. As you may notice, I am right here. But if we reset our character, as you may notice, uh, uh, the, the character has made a ragdoll. And it also makes our own corpse. Now, as you may notice, this corpse is not really that accurate because it doesn't even have the, the gear they wanted. So 
I'm going to show you how to do that. Now what I'm going to do is I am in the ragdoll module and as you may notice, now this section right here is where we make our own ragdoll. Now I want the, the ragdoll to uh, combine the, the attachments for the, the accessories. So what can we do with this? Follow me for this. We're going to say for INV in pairs self dot model colon get descendants. Now we're going to say if V is a accessory then then we're going to get their handle because the accessory contains a handle so we say local accessory handle equals v colon find first child equals handle and if there is an accessory handle then then we're going to make a variable called local part zero now this will be temporary for later now i'm going to say local attachment equals accessory handle colon find first child of class and then we're going to say attachment then we're going to say if not part zero then if the part zero is nil then then we're going to say for underscore comma attachments in pairs and then we're going to say self dot model colon find first child comma head and then I'm going to say get children. And then I'm going to say if attachments is a attachment, then if if attachment dot name is equal to the attachments dot name, then then I'm going to say part zero equals self dot model colon find first child, which is the head. And we're gonna break it now i will explain that a furthermore later now this one is going to be the head attachments then we're going to do the same thing but with different things so i'm going to do that two times then what are we going to do is we're going to add a aligned position so we say local ap equals instance dot new hold on align position and then we're going to send it to part zero and then we're going to say ap dot attachment one is equal to part zero call on find first child and then i'm going to say attachment dot name and then i'm going to say ap dot attachment zero equals attachment and then i'm going to say ap dot rigidity enable equals true ap dot responsiveness equals 200 now what we're going to do is the same thing but this one will be align orientation so i'm going to change the variable like so and then i'm going to do is going to change it to align orientation now here it is now if i kill myself now as you may notice the the ragdoll is attachment to the accessories we managed to have now how does it work now what does it even do is they have attachments and also the mesh accessories are also attachments so if they so if hat attachment is similar to this one then what it will do it will add align position and align orientation which means this will stick the accessories to the ragdoll and it will make our accurate corpse but however if you kill yourself with a force field on you may notice this will appear now we don't want that so I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now that basically we're going to go to this for loop and then we're going to say if V is a force field then V colon destroy. Now if I kill myself while using the force field on as you may notice our corpse doesn't even have a force field. Now this is because the, the script has to go over to the clone char detecting if there is a force field or not. If there is, they will remove it. Pretty simple. Now, if you have a tool, and if you kill yourself, you'll probably find that there is a tool right here. If it's can't collidable, that's fine, but as we notice, we don't want a corpse holding a sign or a tool. That means we need to fix something. So to basically do this, we're gonna say for INV in pairs, we're gonna say player.backpack, hold on, get children, then we're going to say v colon destroy. 
and then we're gonna say for i and v in pairs and we say char colon get children then we say do and we say if v is a tool then v colon destroy and end now if i hold a tool and if i reset my character as you may notice it will remove my tool and remove it on my backpack which means now we have a fully accurate corpse so anyways that is all for today's tutorial if you like it please like the video if you enjoy it otherwise subscribe to my channel for more roblox studio content and anyways i want to see you in the next video peace out <laughs>